Hello and welcome, Number Hunter 91 here, and bringing you a couple of rail route videos. This is the first part of a two-part special that I'm doing in the countdown to the early access launch of rail route on Steam. Uh, all the relevant links will be down below, and it is released as early access on June 23rd at 4 a.m. PST. 12 8 p.m. that's 12 noon BST 11 a.m. UTC so do feel free to convert that and I will put a no time zone link in the video description for you to be able to use um, to help make that a little bit easier there's your pricing as well $14.99 that's US dollars um, which I have played the game and it is very reasonable for that price with what you are able to do I am going to be looking at doing a an endless map, which is a map similar. It's the same map that is featured here on the thumbnail um, and title screen, but I won't be designing mine like that. Mine will be designed slightly differently, I hope. Um, so let's jump into it. Let's hide that away so you'll notice that one of my stations is flashing already that is this one that's because we need to manually accept trains to begin with and we have to set their routes uh, so this train's going from Deshvice 2 to Bubney 2 and then back to Deshvice 1 so it's coming in on 2 down here so if we do that it will highlight that one coming through and into Bubney before I do that we are going to quickly build a bit of track straight down there because uh, looking at the timetable we do have a freight that needs to be able to come through I am going to play this as much as I can in 25 speed just to make it a little bit quicker um, however this will be a long video to get it to the point uh, I didn't want that route I want that route um because I want to get it about halfway done to a third of the way done in this episode. And as soon as you've passed, I can set the route. So we need to accept a contract, but I'm going to do that in a moment. Um, I'm going to get the next two trains out the way. Let's have a quick look. We are looking to look at doing this. Let's get rid of you because uh, you're going to do that, and then we've got enough for. Uh, we'll put you there, you there. So we'll set that going. Set that going, and. Let's have a look at contracts. Nope. Nope. Keep. Nope. Keep. Uh, we'll take you first. One, two. You're already set to go through. Let's zoom out a little bit. And then you should be at that end before the next train wants to come in. I can already set that to go.
And you can see, we can already start getting more trains going. We will be able to change our signals momentarily. Get the full four grand for that. Forget to turn in round. Two, this is going to docks. Like so. Right, we have five points. So, the points at the top here, the five and the zero. So the green is your standard points, and then your red are your advanced experience points. Uh, and they are used to unlock bits within the timetable, the system upgrade, should I say. <coughs> and this goes from being able to use auto signals, and that anything with a red padlock is currently locked uh, that's because I am playing on the demo version which is what's available on Steam at the moment and as I said the links will be down below so we are going to look at getting auto signals and it does give you the option to play a tutorial from here it will take you to the tutorial you complete that and it will bring you back to your map and it will pause your map while you're doing that as well so we're going to upgrade that brings up a nice little box lets you know what they do uh, and then if we go auto signal upgrade there you to there and then you round to there and it just means that it sets the points for us which is beautiful as soon as we get another 8k, I'm going to upgrade this one here at the end of 2. Now we could have brought a train in at that point, which would have probably been a wise idea. Keep hold of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you because you're only 2 grand. Keep hold of them two for the time being. Um, New contracts will always appear at the top of your list. Uh, the next upgrade that I'm aiming for is the control, no, automation, and it's the auto accept toggle here, which literally means the trains will come into the map on their own. And then the auto reverse, again, just means that we don't have to right click on the trains to turn them around. So if I click on the train, you'll see it's got a reverse button down here. You can also right click on the train to reverse it as well. So we'll do that, flip the switch, do that. I cannot yet do that route there. Now I can and it's past the signal. So as soon as that's complete perfect, we can now upgrade you bring the freight in. Perfect. Uh, this is going to be the perfect... Oh, go away, you're on your ground. So let's accept you on two, and we'll try and get some extra trains running, get these points in. Okay, we only got half a bit, but that's fine. Um, we've got freight train due through. You're on your ground, go away. No, not yet. Not yet, not yet. You know what, let's get rid of the rest of them. Next one's going up to the docks. Just fit that 
Right, here we go. System upgrades, automation, auto accept, upgrade. That now means that once we've up, we've accepted this one, they will now come in automatically. Woohoo! Nice and easy, nice and simple. Now all we have to do is worry about signaling them up. Uh, what we are going to do is upgrade this to an auto signal ready for later. Um, Let's have a quick look because what's the automation route? This is the one we want. So we need 20 green, 5 red. Okay, so we need to look at getting the red ones, which are from one off freight contracts, one off intercity contracts, which is what the IC stands for, and contracts from Coach Yard. Uh, okay, so we need to get them. I've got freight due through, so let's just do that. And then as soon as the freight comes through, we can accept. We'll accept you, that'll do. Uh, actually, no, because their speed's all too, too high. Hey Doc, welcome on in. Oh snap, what? Oh yeah. I've unfortunately lost a couple of mods over the last few months, so, and I like to have people that are within your time zone. Because I mainly stream for the American audience. get the one-time freights which we are going to need to be able to get the auto reverse yeah uh, so while we're here let's just build out to there by that loop uh, speed 60 that's fine uh, da, 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 da. this is yeah so this is a recording for YouTube, but it's being recorded live, so yay, fun. Um, just double checking, and don't want you. Gonna kinda wanna keep hold of you, but I'm not going to. I might just make use of you to help get the green points in. Uh, get rid of you, keep that one. Uh, actually, get rid of them because we're looking out for. Oh, poor thing. Alright. I haven't received any new contracts yet. Okay, dogs. Yeah. Oh, 
Ooh. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, automation, five and one for you. Five for you. So we'll go for this one next, because that's going to come in handy with this route here. Command chain, grab. Cool. Uh, go away, go away, go away, go away. Unless I see it with a red point on it, I don't want them at the moment. you, grab you, on two. Oh yeah, I can't do that yet. And they pass nicely. Still no reds, go away. <laughs> so it's literally just a case of checking the contracts every so often. Oh. Yep, get out of the way. You're only there while we're waiting for the contracts to come through, for the points to come through. Station. Oh, there's either a station or a coach yard that we didn't have for that one, which we'll get to eventually. Uh, let's set you up. Oh, wrong way. You're going docks first. <laughs> Still no. One time frights. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Docks, Bubney docks. Okay, that's fine. So, uh -huh. yeah, you give us more money. And what we'll do, actually, because we've got the money to do it. And we're gonna need that station platform later anyway. Contract, grab. Oh, I declined it, damn it. Uh, load and water safe. So we should get them, let's. A little bit of a delay to him, but that's fine. That now allows us to upgrade that. That's absolutely perfect. Except on one into three, you'll do. So 
so the throat's not going anywhere. for the moment uh, upgrade we've got five points can we use, make use of them don't need coach yard yet nothing on there yet this is the main one we're after and next uh, auto blocks we're not worried about that we're not worried about interface I, I'm not overly worried personally about the interface stuff um, however These are really handy, um, along with this one. So we'll grab that one, because then if any new contracts, we can just automatically do, and we can add, we can do them from down here. Just waiting for the freight, if I'm honest. I'm just waiting for this, and then we can look at getting one of the upgrades that requires the red advanced experience points. So I am going to look at redoing this event, this area. Um, However, not yet. Um, this is a very, very tricky area to be able to sort out. Automation, auto reverse, upgrade. That now means that we don't have to turn the trains around at Buffney. Lovely. Downside is a little too close to that guy's rear end. Oh, no. Docks first. Right, we've had some new contracts come in, so I'm going to check them in a sec. him to go so I can click that. Alright. Bubney docks Bubney. Beautiful. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I'm gonna get rid of you for now. Don't have Viscony, so that's gonna have to go freight docks to Bubney free, that'll do. Sort that. Except on one, on one. Into platform one there. Thank you. And then as soon as you're clear, clear you. but it's a case of trying to fit it in. 
which we're not going to be able to do yet. Let's just, what can we get any decent upgrades? Don't need coach yard yet. That's 20 and 5, so we should really save up for that. Uh, auto block. That would allow us to then go up here or through here. Um, which isn't the worst because it allows us to be able to expand out. But personally, I prefer waiting until I've got the. Um, until I've got this one and then I'll expand out once I've got the higher speed tracks um, so that is tempting interface we might pick up uh, actually we will we'll because we don't need anything else off of that one yet so we're gonna grab better train labels so now tells us underneath the trains which ones they are uh, and then one of the interface ones um, oh it's this one here is three points so we'll get that as soon as we can as well because it gets rid of these blocks As soon as he's finished, we can grab that one. Uh, I'm going to let the freight come through that's there at the minute. Interface that one. That one. Looks so much nicer already. Two red points nicely done for us. And as soon as he's out of the way, I can look at. Because I saw some more, so we've got another red point freight. Lovely. Uh, up contracts. Don't want you. Don't need you. You're both tempting, but nope. busy enough as it is out the way I can do that so it is entirely possible to play this real time um, which I'm not going to do for the purpose of the YouTube videos. Uh, right. Right, you're all greens, which are nice, but I don't truly have the room for them. Well, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. this first because um, that's just going to help us out here initially I am aware that this is going to be a long video and I do appreciate people for watching it as I said it gets released early access June 23rd I will be streaming it, the game that day to be able to make full use of all of the features that are not currently available to me on the demo. So 
So, with Railroot, it is a management tycoon puzzle game based on railroad dispatching, control the traffic, build out your own network. Oh. Let's try not to delay the trains too much. Um, let's pause that for a sec. Uh, build out your, your own network, then optimize and expand. Unlock new technologies, upgrade your infrastructure, and automate operations. Design and share your own maps with the in-game editor. I'm going to do a separate video on the editor. Um, and it's literally just going to be a case of putting a couple of stations in and showing you guys how the editor side of it works. Uh, features. In early access, there are going to be two game modes available. Um, there, there are currently two modes already available um, within the demo, which are both scored maps and endless maps. This is an endless map as, that we're playing at the moment. Endless, as the name implies, allows you to play the game endlessly. Your goal is just is not just to get each train to its destination on time, but also expand your system, add new trains, and optimize everything you, as best you can within the limits of the map. Build track to new stations, accept new train contracts, upgrade your system through multiple technology trees, and see how your railroad gr grows from a f tiny free station system into a sprawling creation that runs like clockwork. Pretty straightforward, not gonna lie. Um, the scored maps are what we call timetable maps. Um, at the moment, there's only a couple of timetable, a few timetable maps <laughs> available on the demo. However, if you join the Discord, and I'll put the link down below to Railroots Discord as well as my own, um, then within the shared share your maps channel on there you can download maps that people have created most of which are timetable there are a few endless in there for those that prefer endless uh, can't take you can take you Keep both of them for me. Try this one on two. They're passing quite nicely. These passing time. Close enough. It's fine. Turn it off, it's fine. We're doing it for the green points at the minute. Uh, get rid of you, because I haven't got enough uh, freight going through for a minute. Uh, except you, let's just get the red points on the go, because we need five for the routing queue. We need one for there, uh, and then we need another 10 on there, so that's 15, 16 that we need. Yes, yeah, 16 reds that we need to complete the technology trees as we currently have. Um, we are going to grab that because that just changes the colours of the labels. It makes it a little bit easier to see which trains, especially when you zoomed in like this, um, which trains are 
closer to leaving their station than others. Um, anything with a triple X on it has finished and that will just disappear off the map or go into a coach yard. Uh, we're going to get rid of the rest of them. Uh, interface. Not overly bothered about the rest of them. Contracts. that inter The one time in city contracts I'm not going to bother with until we've built out the system in episode 2. Uh, automation. I do want to at least get the routing queue this episode. Um, and I'm going to worry about these second episode. Hopefully this episode and start expanding and finish the expansion. In the second episode ready for the final expansion to it. When the early access gets released in two weeks. If you have any questions don't hesitate to comment down below. And I will do my best to answer them. Do go and join their Discord, again link down below, to be able to ask questions as well. I am on there, um, you've got the devs, you've got moderators and what we call conductors that have been playing the game, slash you've got the early access previews already that can help you out. That's not going there, that's going there. No, 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 no. And quite possibly not enough room. We'll have to double check. We just need to get the greens. So we're keeping hold of that one for now. You're a slightly slower speed. No. No. Put it in. Nope, and nope. Same amount of money, lower speed. That's what we like to see. Click on you and do that and that. And now we can queue his route to get through. That's even nicer. No, can't do it like that. Uh, one and a half. Yes, yeah, sort it'll do for now.
also, once the roots are set up for this next one, uh, no, although we can build around to there, but I don't want to yet, don't want to go to you yet, or you, don't have space for you, don't want you, right, upgrade, so, this is the next main one we want, to be able to then start editing where our trains are going. Um, so, 10 greens. Yes, we can get rid of the freight contract without penalisation. So we can now just lock that route. And lock that route. So this is the earliest form of automation that you can have. And we're just going to let the points roll in. Uh, upgrades, we can grab the platform upgrade that we need. So that now allows us to be able to change the platforms. Uh, let's pause Bubney to docks to Bubney and back. We'll take you. Docks to Lyburn, no thanks. Docks to get rid of the greens, don't need them for the time being. to come through done so within the upgrade automation we are now looking at getting the arrival and departure sensors they are beautiful little pieces of upgrades uh, controls I'm gonna write about these later I'm gonna try I am gonna look at building at getting the upgraded tracks uh, contracts not touching that until we've expanded out enough or the same with the coach yards. Coach yards, they're okay pre early access, but you have to worry about them manually. Oh, contract, you go away. You, contract, go away. Right, so contracts active. Cool, that's all the freight out of the way. So that freight, we're gonna lose a little bit of money on, but whatever. I thought I'd got rid of all the freights and I clearly hadn't. You weren't going to booger off the map. Excuse my language. That's fine. Right. Set you to go. No, 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 and no. Not bothered about any of them for the time being. So, 
15 and 5, 20 and 5. I can do that. Uh, I might look at expanding. Um, I am looking at just getting rid of freight altogether. Um, it's not the most... They're not the most helpful of trains. Getting the odd red for them is fine. Um, but when you start making use of coach yards, you get your reds anyway. Um, so, if we go upgrade controls, 10 and 1. So we only need one more green, and we can upgrade. Which we should be getting at any moment. Boom. You change track speed. Done. All our tracks are now eighty kilometers an hour. So what we can do here, go active contracts. Anything that's fulfilled, we are getting rid of. And we're going to start fresh on the contracts. to Bubney, yes we'll take you. No, no. Yes. Into there. Accept. So, it's going to slow down a little bit for the moment. Because we're waiting for new commuter contracts to come in on there. And we've still got only a couple of trains left there. So I'm going to get it to a point where we've got some more trains coming through. Uh, what we will look at doing, uh, when we get the arrival departures first, I think. Um, and we should be alright. If we can get the arrival to sensors, then I can make use of platforms one and three properly. Um, and I can look at how I want to set this up. Um, because one of these tracks becomes bi-directional without the tunnels. Uh, contracts, you're now fulfilled. Go away. You're no good to me. Uh, yes, we'll accept you on two. You're no good. You're both freights going to there. That's fine. No good. No good. Two out of three grand, that's fine. Except on two. Go. Little bit of a delay. Not that big of a deal. Uh, Dr. Bubney, let's get this one out of the way first. He's got a little bit of a delay. Let's. Uh, 
That was you, wasn't it? You know what? Go away. Keep that one. Uh, okay. Go away. Go away. Oh, please don't tell me that leaves me. No, doesn't leave me completely empty. I'm gonna get rid of all of them to get new contracts in. Uh, interface, are we bothered? No. Uh, don't need them just yet. These are the ones that we're trying to get, but I need better contracts. Uh, and actually, what we can look at doing here... Um, I don't want that going in there. Um, you're actually going to come off of there. Because you've got to do that. Uh, let's buy the other platforms. Um, change track speeds. Way. Can I do, do it? Two can only go into one. No. Come on. That needs to come across. Oh, how do I have this set up the other day? I know that doesn't look pretty, but we'll get it to work. As I said, one of the tracks becomes bike directional. Um, and in actual fact, they need to move to there. Is it okay? And it does that. Because then you'd get a signal there to stop them coming in. That's fine. We can make this work now. Because we can adjust timetable. So four, four. Um, contracts, we don't have any waiting. Oh, uh, oh, not enough money for it. Let's just do it with you then. Uh, and actually we can 
do it this way. Because I know... There we go. What's going to go where from here. Um, and then it's just a case of sorting this side out. Oh, come on. No, you're not good. I need more contracts now. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Because we are coming up to an hour long already. Um, <coughs> I'm going to work on this a little bit between now and episode 2. Um, I'm going to get some more contracts rolling in. I'm going to get a little bit more of the track work sorted out. So that you guys get an idea of where I'm heading. Because um, in the next episode... I plan on finishing off the seven stations that I can do, that I can go up to on the demo, so that when the early access drops on June 23rd at 12pm BST, 11am UTC, 4pm PST, um, when I go to stream it then, I can then edit it a little bit, put in the tunnels, put in the extra routing sensors that I can't yet put in. Uh, automate the coach yards and whatnot. Um, so looking forward to that, and then we can hopefully see it just run on its own. <laughs> Apologies, I am recording this at very early in the morning um, for me, as I am UK based. So I will be streaming on June twenty third from. I'm hoping half 12 p.m. BST, so 12.30 p.m. BST, which is 4.30 a.m. PST, 11.30 a.m. UTC. Um, latest I'll be live is 1 p.m. BST, 5 a.m. PST, and midday UTC. So the latest after its release I'll be live is an hour. Um, and that is on Wednesday the 23rd of June. Price of the game is going to be 14 US dollars 99 cents and you've got 12 euro 50, 49 cents there as well. Uh, apologies, I don't entirely know the other currencies that have shown on there. Uh, what it will be in pound, pound sterling, I'm not sure because that it's not been converted on that yet. Um, regardless, I'm paying it. I'm getting the early access launched version of this. Um, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being able to make use of the routing sensors and the tunnels and to be able to automate the coach yards. And I'll be hunky dory. Um, so, yeah, let us know your thoughts and feelings down in the comment section below. And I will see you in episode two. Bye.